Welcome to City Line. I'm so happy to wake up to these two. It's Colin and Justin, everyone. Hi, guys. Now, I'm standing over here because you have taken all of this furniture from a hotel liquidator. Okay, now, when we moved four years ago, I was asking everyone, where do I go to get this amazing furniture from hotels? Apparently, it's super cheap and it's sturdy because it's been in a hotel. Yeah. All you have to do is put a little elbow grease in and repurpose it. I didn't know where to go. So now you got to give me the lowdown. Well, this particular batch of furniture comes from a company called Move Line Liquidators and they are okay. absolutely brilliant. Now you hit a really important point. You said all this stuff is sturdy because it's built for the hotel industry. If this furniture could talk, let's be honest, it could tell some stories, okay? Oh, I shouldn't touch any <laughs> oh, of no, it, no actually. Touchy, no touchy, no <laughs> touchy. Don't, but I need to wash day, my hands. Everything here costs six hundred dollars for our armoire, for our kidney table, for the little ottoman over there, the little poof, the chair, the stools, everything, the little tables, six hundred dollars, the, the mirrors included, you know, it's not how much you how spend, how much I mean, was it? Six hundred of your Canadian $600. dollars. Six hundred dollars. We've said it a million times, Tracy, it's our, it's our mantra, it's not how much money you spend, it's where you spend it that makes all the difference. Absolutely. Okay, so now we've seen the furniture, you'll get it and you think to yourself, okay, good price, but eh, what do I do with it? Well, you know, I think what you have to do is buy carefully, you know, think about pieces that will actually enhance the sale of your home. You know, a classic little two-door armoire like this could be a drinks cabinet, could be a TV cabinet, could oh, yeah. be anything you want, okay? Great. Glass tops are amazing on surfaces as well, because if you worry about painting a tabletop, worry it's going to wear down, then a glass top is going to cure all that, okay? So we're going to show That's you right. how to actually take a core of basically really ugly items, a bit of hotel hell, yes. and make it heavenly. Now okay, just so look here. what they've done. This is, to me, just incredible. Like, it's, it's light, it's bright, it's beautiful. Did it take a long time? Do you know what? We did this in one day. Sure, we had some help from the City Line backstage team, but the <laughs> essence is... Round of applause for right a lot, of help. A lot of help. I know it's incredible. We don't actually do everything ourselves. They but worked hard. They need a raise. They do. Listen, they, listen, I need a raise, let's be honest. <laughs> um, everything Raises here, for everyone. Yeah, money, money, money. Everything here, Tracy, has been really carefully done, and that's the key message here. Don't slap your paint on. Don't really go at it gung-ho. It's all about preparation. So we sanded everything laboriously mm -hmm. with rough gauge paper, then medium gauge paper, then smooth gauge paper, and we gave it a coat of paint. So essentially, it's got a cream backdrop with blue detailing and as Colin said it's hotel hell made hotel heavenly with a fresh <laughs> almost slightly nautical theme exactly I mean we love this the armoire is the central piece isn't it you know it's been changed lovely cream paint from Benjamin Moore some new handles from Ikea as well you know and I think if you modernize the handles you modernize the piece you know but is right. there a television lurking in here let's see what's no, in here of course oh, there is look look. this oh. is better than TV Scottish boys boozers exactly boozers. It, just, it wouldn't be Colin and Justin on a Monday morning without a drink would it <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, but you know, it's got a pull-out shelf there, so it's perfect. You know, you can pull the bar out, yeah. spin it around, do that whole hostess thing, add some mirrors in there, get your glassware in there. Oh, you added the mirrors. That's yeah, really smart. That's it's gorgeous. Beautiful. Now, I love this. This so kidney table, $145. A little bit of time, some masking tape. And we were really careful, Tracy. If you, again, if you bodge it on, it'll look really bad. We masked out all the bands, and then we used the blue detailing that we've got elsewhere around the room. Now, if you're not so clever with the detail work yeah. don't fret it because there's lots of little cheats that we can tell you one of them is have a look down here we finish this off with some cord it's simple cord it costs two dollars oh, fifty smart. for a huge big roll and in there it finishes off any of the edges and gives it a really tailored look now on top of this we went to poster jack and we got this amazing map Really easy to scale them, really easy to size them. You tell them what you want, you, you plunder their wares, their catalogue. Yeah. We actually cut it into the shape of the kidney top, popped under the glass. And again, I think you mentioned the glass, Colin. Look for items that have got extra layers, extra little benefits, because that is what will give them their longevity. So a little mm -hmm. bit of blue paint, some cord, a map, and then final dressing. And hey, hey Presto, chicken poo, chicken pie. <laughs> <laughs> Glue the uh, the cord on there. I did, yeah. yeah. I used hot glue gun, and we kind of detailed it around. I like you're saying cord, which sounds kind of designery. It was actually yeah. washing line. Oh, that's did you just correct me there? It was washing line. You're so fancy, Justin. No, I love it even more. Look at the that's girth good. That. The cheaper, the look, better. Look, are you look, kidding me? Look at that. I love it. 
That is great. Hey, exactly. Just wreck down your clothesline. Get it round your nice. desk. It's not a Sue, Colin. It's not a Sue. <laughs> it's all about using the, the using the noggin and having some well, creativity. Exactly. What did you do with this guy? You you reupholstered both of we these. We reupholstered both of these. We actually had some spare fabric lying about the studio. It was, yeah. it was a window panel that we uh, picked up from HomeSense a few months ago, and we mm -hmm. thought this is absolutely perfect just to kind of finish off these pieces. So if you've got any scrap fabrics, think about how you might actually reuse them. Yeah. This is really simple. You know, you just get your uh, trusty old staple gun out, staple the fabric all around there, and there's a really simple little fold at the front here, which is cute, but then we've added these little kind of like beautiful decorative upholstery pins yeah. just to give it a bit of bling, tie in with the metal work and the mirror finishes that are going on in the other pieces. I'm impressed that you didn't take that out for someone to do that for you, because that's well, what I would do. You could do it, Tracy. You know, you obviously do stuff within your skill set. And we sure. always say, if you can manage it guys yourself, then tackle it yourself. Yeah. And at the end of the day, if it doesn't work, then, then you can call it then to get, get somebody to do to it. But you. I think that's a really simple thing. Also, the little hospital tuck at the corner where, where we've covered the Ottoman poof. Um, gives you that really neat detail. My favourite thing in the room, Tracy, I mean, Tell we me. love all our babies with equal measure here, but my favourite <laughs> thing, these little tables. Camel. Do you remember how they started? Oh. In that monogamy wood. Sorry, yes. not monogamy, mahogany. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I'm all about the monogamy. Nothing wrong with a little monogamy. No. Absolutely, it'll do us all a part there of good. Are, there are two tables in there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who knew? In the, <laughs> in the monogamy wood. Um, again, sanded it down. <laughs> What is it, Tracy? Every time we come in here, it's just benign chaos. I don't know. As much as we laugh, guys, we have a very serious message. It's serious stuff, guys. You used to be an Listen international out. style diva. And now look at me, <laughs> fiddling around with clothes like. No, this, this is a really simple transformation. We, again, went for the blue colour for the base and for the top. Right. And then we wrapped more of the same cord that we used uh -huh. down here, the washing line. Wrapped all the way around, glue gunning it every few inches to secure it. Then if you've got any kind of gaps that you think are too large, then just lob on some white latex. Eight. Gives you a really smooth finish. Very good. And then on top of that, a Wait, lovely stencil. I love oh, you. I love, I love you too. Oh. Stay with me forever. Be don't with me forever. Don't, don't go with anybody else. Fabulous. <laughs> a little stencil oh on top God. as well for final detailing there. Oh, a little this nautical is lovely. Oh, that's great. That's, they're by uh, cutting edge stencils and they're fabulous. Nice. Really simple to do. You know, just a nice little touch. And when you've got your new pieces, yeah. you know, why not indulge yourself? You know, the wallpaper is Canadian. Uh, who's it by? It's by Blue Mountain, oh, of that's course. Nice. Lovely Toronto company, and the rug is from IKEA. See, and you know what? The rug really does tie everything all together. Course, I love it? that. So you get a few new pieces that are really going to give it that look to tie it all together, and the rest you can do yourself. You, you know, guys are awesome. It's actually simple. Thank if you. you've got something like wallpaper or a rug, all your color skimming is potentially in there. Yeah. If you look around at the colors that we've used, they appear like the cream, the blue, the beigey gray over there. The same with the wallpaper. Don't don't think it's a science because interior design isn't necessarily a science. Good layering and thoughtfulness is what produces the work that we do. So, <laughs> think what are you doing? Think twice, oh, measure once, cut once. Oh, look, ending on a serious note, okay? Absolutely. Darling, it's not just interior design, it's interior divine. Oh. 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 You, know, you, know, you don't have to spend a lot of money you and your don't. hotel hell can become hotel heaven. Heaven, absolutely. I think they're really great tips, guys. Thank Cheers, you for Tracy. that. Thanks.